It was sort of a strange year for Diggs. Uh, after the first four games of the season, there was all this talk about massive trade rumors. He was unhappy with his production. He voiced that. After talking about it publicly, he played great. And his stats all across the board improved significantly for the rest of the season. So I want quick thoughts on this because I, I, it could be significant as we work our way towards the middle of March. Graziano, how much attention should we be paying, first and foremost, to him taking the Vikings off of his feet? Some, but not a ton. It, it, the Vikings don't have a lot of financial incentive to move him. He's, he's one of their more affordable deals going forward in terms of their high-end guys. So I think it would only be if he wanted out and they didn't want him around anymore. But as you mentioned, they weathered that week four flare-up with him and, and things turned around. So I, I think they've figured out a, that they can kind of live with his occasional bouts of, of whatever when he feels like he's not getting the ball. What do you think, Des? Is, that, let's then spin it to just how good yeah. Stefan Diggs is. Mm -hmm. Is he someone who would be a difference maker in New England if he wound up there? Absolutely. You put him on New England's roster right now, he's their number one guy. And he's a guy, he's fast, he has quick twitch, uh, reliable hands. He's an emotional player, too, only because it means a lot to him. I remember him coming out of, out of college. He was an exceptional talent, but a guy who was still hungry to go to the next level and succeed. I think if you put him on New England's roster with the professionalism of the Patriots, he can take his game to the next level, Swagoo. I don't think it changes Tom Brady's decision, though. Like, I, I, Stephon Diggs is a really good player. That's why he got paid. Um, he, he, for all intents and purposes, wants to be a number one, but Adam Thielen is going to be their number one there in Minnesota. Here's the deal, though. I know everybody, like, we, we're trying to figure out what's going to make Tom Brady come back to mm -hmm. New England. Mm -hmm. I don't think it has anything to do with players. You know. I honestly don't believe mm -hmm. that if, if New England um, surrounds him or starts to bring in all of this plethora of talent, it's going to determine if Tom Brady comes back. Or Why not? not? Because... I believe Tom Brady is in a situation right now where he wants to dictate everything he's doing. I don't think anybody out here can make Tom Brady say, I'm going to go here because they have this. Right. Or I'm going to go here because they have this. Like, like we've been saying from the beginning, this is the first time in his career where he's been able to sit back and make a decision based off of Tom Brady. Tom Brady made decisions to give money back, and everybody, you, we should applaud him for that, I guess. Absolutely. But Tom Brady knew what he needed. Yeah. Like, that, that, that was a position he was in and understood that he needed a lot of players around him mm -hmm. to make sure that they could get Super Bowls done. Now he's in a position to be selfish, and I don't think any other player has anything to do with his decision. If New England's going to convince him to come back, it'll be because they've put together something offensively that's a lot. They weren't one receiver away right. from having a great offense this year, so it would have to involve the protection, the offensive line, a tight end, other things besides just this. Totally. When you say they start, weren't though. one receiver away, they had a variety of injuries as the season went on, clearly, and that hurt them. But for the very brief time Antonio Brown was on that they team, were. that looked like a very good offense. I mean, we're, we're still only like three months removed from a conversation on this show, are the Patriots going to go 16-0, and 0, right? We had that yeah, conversation the, in October. Gee, to that point, it's simple. Hey, are you guys going to bring in talent? Tom Brady is... The New England Patriots are being held hostage right now. <laughs> and I think Tom Brady loves the fact that he's in this position. Yeah. Unless there's some talks going on behind the scenes. But if, 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 it's, the, if it's as simple as bringing in talent, then what, why are we even talking about Tom Brady leaving? They, if they want Tom Brady, they're going to bring in talent. It's that simple for me. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.